Okay, so once again, I'm gonna put a new solid state hard drive in my computer and then double up the RAM. First, I need to, and you'll notice the difference in speed before and after. This has a regular, whatever, old style hard drive, platter disc. And so the thing about the, the old style hard drives, the platter hard drives is they run hot, they use more electricity, and they're slower. So that's why I'm putting this solid state drive in my computer. And so the older ones, the older platter style hard drives, they take longer, use more electricity, and heat up. And heat is sort of an enemy to electronics if you understand that principle. So with the newer stuff in, I'll be running like twice as fast as this. I don't even have all the icons loaded up yet here on the, on the page. So and theoretically, we're all all systems go at this point. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the software. Okay. And I want to make sure the USBs are in there and the SKIO device is working. Got it. Is connected and showing okay so we're going to close this down so in order to use the software on another hard drive I need to first Go ahead and deactivate the software from inside the software. And you see the computer is running a bit slow. And you'll notice the before and after, after I have installed the new solid state drive and doubled up the RAM. It currently has two gigs of RAM. And it's real slow. Theoretically, it will run on two gigs of RAM, but since I um, am able to, oh, we've got something down here minimized. Some reason. It is just really chugging along, you can see. Uh, there may be some other things updating as well, so this may not be the only process. I'm not sure where this came from. Fibonacci Cascade waveform. I'm not sure exactly how that came up. Frequency enhancement, anti-inflammation cascade. Degeneration cascade. Interesting. I never saw that that page before. Let's see if we can close this down. And it's real slow. Oh, I don't want to close. May have to restart this puppy. I think I need to restart. Okay, so it closed down, but it was really slow. And you can see that this part here is really slow too. So basically from here, we're gonna go continue. And then we're gonna go password.
Yeah, it's real slow. And so from here, we see that we, we are activated. So you can see activated here. So what we need to do is press the deactivation. Do not choose this, so this option if you want to use the software again with this computer. Are you sure you want to deactivate the program? Okay, so now it's going to go to the QX site, supposedly, and then talk to the QX site and let them know that I'm deactivating the software and so that I will be able to reactivate the software with credit from my old uh, software while I work on my computer. Yeah, it's real slow. Okay, so we got this page here after I refreshed. It says, A PHP error was encountered. Security notice. Surity sur sur notice. Servity notice. Servity notice. Undefined index post underscore data controllers slash I O N dot PHP line number seventy four error was encountered warning severity warning PHP error was encountered severity warning message Medicrypt, generic, an empty string was passed. Libraries on ion activation ph .php line number 410. PHP error was encountered. Servity notice. So we got some error occurred here. And we can scroll down and see. PHP was encountered. Encounter. PHP error was encountered. Servity notice. Undefined offset number one. File controllers forward slash ion PHP line number 81. We got some problem here. That's, and here it says error invalid method error code 002. So I guess it's back to the drawing board here. I'll have to contact the home office. To try and resolve the problem. And it doesn't want to close down out of here either, so let's try this. Okay, so let's try this again here. Deactivation. Do not choose this option if you wish to use the software again with this computer. Are you sure you want to deactivate the program? Yes. So it's not as easy as explained. Yes, and then we got the error again. Okay, so now we're on again. So it fixed itself. So now I just log in with my information theoretically. And after I put my new hardware in, then I'll come back here and reactivate directly. And so this particular Dell has the one of the RAM chips underneath the keyboard, so I have to take the keyboard out to 
put the RAM chip in. There's one on the bottom right there that I've already put in. I had a one gig and so basically I had two gigs of RAM in here. So I'm putting two uh, two gigs, so I have four gigs of RAM and I'll have a solid state drive which will make it a lot faster. Okay, the RAM chip under the keyboard was not in square, so theoretically it could, should come right up now. Not sure why it's hanging up. It's probably just getting used to the new hardware. twice as much RAM and a solid state hard drive. Come on, it should be faster. So this Dell is F2 to set up, F12 for boot menu. It's going, it's just chugging along for some reason. Theoretically, it should be faster. It'll probably boot up pretty fast once it's sort of recognized its new hardware. It's definitely slow now. So this is the Dell D630. It's got the dual processor Intel program in it, or uh, processor in it. And I'm running Windows 7 on it. They're nice little computers. They will normally have a fairly uh, large enough screen to run most programs. And they're lightweight and built tough. A lot of government organizations bought these kinds of computers. And the Lenovo's were popular with the government too. The Lenovo's and the HP's, so let's see, we got a amount of memory has changed. Uh, if you did not change your memory, Resolve this issue. Try to repeat the me reset the memory. Strike F1 to continue. Okay, so we're just gonna go F1. Should get us in there. There we go. And you should be able to see a little bit more speed going on now. Okay, definitely. Wow, that was pretty fast. Pretty fast there, so we're hooked up onto the internet. And so we're going to, see everything's already loaded up. We don't have any hourglasses or any of those spinning wheels to wait for. It's cool. So now we're gonna go Eductor. And that was pretty quick right there. You can tell it's a lot faster. And we'll have to go to the password screen. Yeah, a lot faster. Okay, the only thing is, is I forgot to plug my skew in. And so I'll have to restart this again.
Okay, I got my skill hooked up. Let's try it again. It's noticeably faster. I remember how it used to be. Noticeably faster. And Skio is reacting, and the Skio box will come up. And close that a little bit. Okay, so from here we're just going to try and I'm going to have to go to password. Yeah, a lot faster. So it looks like we're starting all over. It's just like we're starting all over. So we click on the green box to make it disappear. Agree to all terms. And then today is the greatest day of your life. Healing starts with ethics. Close that, and then we're just gonna go. Uh, we're just gonna do activation. And then here, last for my username and password. Okay, username and password typed in. And then, okay, go. So now it's going to. So, okay, so I've already cost me $25 to reactivate my software. So every time I, every time you change your hardware, which you're probably not like, likely to do unless you uh, want to have your system run a little faster and put a solid state hard drive in, you have to pay $25 for the upgrade. And so that's how that works. If you need any help, you can contact me at laptopsrepaired at yahoo.com or give me a call 707-443-8347 Pacific Time 927. Thanks.